in a national month of hope, a surprise delivery. Today, thousands of donations found their way to a safe haven for women and children who live with domestic violence. Our non-residential programs are seeing numbers going through the roof. Even before the pandemic, connections for abused women and their children, CAWC struggled to help everyone they needed to. State funding wasn't enough for them. The current situation made it even worse. Domestic violence calls have gone from 20 to 30 in a month to 16 in just one week for them. Victims and survivors of domestic violence are really having a challenging time beyond their experiences of domestic violence. They're being asked to shelter in place in a household where the very person that wants to harm them or kill them lives. We're here to help and support women and children. The donations helped out in part by hundreds of Chicago area high school athletes, buddies helpers who volunteered their time to make a difference. For anyone who is going through domestic abuse, just know you are not alone. There is help just a phone call away, and there is always hope for a better future. Women and children who deal with domestic abuse issues feel isolated to begin with, and even more so now during a pandemic. They may feel like there's no hope, but one thing these student athletes are trying to deliver, not only with the in-kind donations, but with the message that they're delivering, is that there's always hope, and all you need to do is reach out to someone. Today's donations of toiletries, coloring books, puzzles, clothing, and more will go a long way to help those who are in desperate need to find a better life in a world of uncertainty. And oftentimes abusers will say, if you leave, nobody's going to help you. Nobody cares about you. Um, this demonstration today, this demonstration today proves that wrong. It proves that there are generous people. It proves that there are amazing people that want to help them. In Chicago, Sean Lewis, WGN News.